Infineon Raceway, a stop number 16 on the Casual GTX Cup Series for the running of the Eric Medlin 350K presented by Castrol Syntec. And of course, this is Eric Medlin's hometown, Sears Point International. I still call it Sears Point instead of Infineon. This is, was near his hometown at Oakdale, California, so that's why I chose Sears Point as a track. And he is a former funny car. He was a former funny car racer who lost his life in a testing crash at Gainesville, Florida back in 2007. That's why I chose this track for the Eric Medlin 350K, and that's why I chose to name the race that. Don Poteet's on the pole with Rachel Williams alongside. Then comes Michael Dawson and Keith Batson, Con Cropley. In starting fifth and sixth is, is Chris Martin. As the green flag about the wave here is an Infineon Raceway. It tends to be a wild and wacky road course race here, and you'll see why, maybe. Don Poteet leads him down the green flag waves, and we are underway here at Sarah Air Sonoma. Under the Fram Autolite Bridge as they go through turns 1 and 1A, now through turn 2. They tend to get off in the dirt a lot here on this track. Dylan Pote just leading him down there. He gets a great start. And everybody else, they go through turn four. Now for a tricky turn seven. And here's where the fun starts. Down through the S's. Sit back and watch the fun begin. Rachel Williams closing right on Don Pote as they go down through the 11th turn. It's the hairpin. Rachel doesn't make a pass there, but Don Pote keeps the lead for lap number one. Dylan in the 66, Rachel in the 27 as they go down into turn number one and down through turn two. Rachel staying all over the back bumper of Don Pote's car as they go down into turn. Three and now 3A. This is an 11 turn course. Now through turn number four. 12 laps around this track here at Infineon. That's what the lap count is. Dylan swings out a little bit too wide. Here comes Rachel Williams down the inside. She closes back up on she closes up on Dylan Bug quite a bit. Oh, we got in trouble. Jeremy Doobie has crashed. And somebody kicking up a lot of dust about this. That's Zoar Munnen in the 14, I think. It was. He was also in the crash. Dylan Pote won the race back to the line. We'll see what happened. Let's see what happened. Oh boy, a big mess. Down in, I think, in turn 8, I think. Ray Castor got off in the dirt. Now let's watch what happened. I think the crash may have happened in front of him. I don't know. It did, I think. Yeah. Zed Weinstein, he gets hit. He crashes into Kathy Kintara. That sent Ray Castor around. That sent Seth Cole around. Jeremy Doobie crashed. Kathy Kintara crashed. Zohar Munnen crashed. Dougie Shears got damage on his machine. Justin Acosta way off on the track, way off track. Boy, so are Munnen. He's just kicking up a lot of dust down through there. I 
Oh, look at that. He's, it looks like he's doing a John Force burnout down through there. But Don Poteet won the race back to the line with Rachel Williams running in second right now. Keith Batson in third. Michael Dawson in fourth. Christopher Martin is in fifth. Colin Cropley running sixth. Seventh is Lisa Shears. Eighth, John Acosta. Ninth is Trent Dunham. And tenth is Connor Breton. And that's how they run right now in this race. <laughs> Green flag about to come out here on lap number five. On lap number five, we have we'll have eight laps to go here at Sonoma, California. This is only a 12-lap race on a big road course, which also includes a drag strip on the inside where they where the NHRA runs the Fram Autolite Nationals, in which by the way Eric Medlin was the name the race after won that drag race back in 2006. Everybody seemed to get good starts here as we watch the field try to maneuver around this Infineon road course. Oh! Keith Batson and Rachel Williams almost took each other out. And Rachel about got in the tire barrier in turn number four. Keith tries to go for second and he's got it on Rachel. Maybe! Ooh! kicking up a lot of dust on the track. And now Rachel Williams lost a spot to Keith Batson who now goes for the lead on Dylan Poteet. Keith dives inside. Let's see what happens down to the front stretch now. Nonetheless, Dylan Poteet's got them all in their rear view mirrors now as they go down the track. Let's take you through the field. Christopher Martin getting around Colin Cropley. Martin up the fifth, Cropley in sixth. Go down Lisa Shears in seventh position in 25 car. Trent Dunham in the 24. Keith Batson kicking up some dust. Now the nerd, Dylan Pote, that's allowed him to pull away. Look at Michael Dawson inside of Keith Batson, and Dawson takes second from Keith, but Keith's not letting them get away. And Keith will try to take second back as they go down back under the Fram Autolite Bridge. But Dawson's not giving up, neither is Keith. Some great, this may, be some, this may be a good battle for a position, but that's not good if they want to try to win this race because that's going to let Dylan Poteet pull away. And now Keith just finally goes off in the grass and says, screw it, so. <laughs> Chris Martin inside of Keith Batson. All the while, Colin Crawford tries to make a move on Rachel Williams. And Michael Dawson trying to close up on Dylan Poteet. Dylan's led right from the start. He hopes to not give up this race. Five laps to go here in Sonoma. Take you through the field right here. Battle position right there. Trent Dunham trying for the sixth spot on Colin Cropley. 
And he does indeed. Carlin got a little bit too wide down through there. Down through there, and now he falls in the clutches of Rachel of Lisa Shears in the 25. And meantime, Michael Dawson's all over Dylan Poteet's back bumper. I say if Dylan gets off in the dust one more time. Michael Dawson's got him. Does that? This Dawson's got a faster car, obviously, than Dylan does. Dylan, even though Dylan was the pole center for the event. Now let's see what happens down there. The S's as Dylan brings her down in turn seven. Four laps to go in this race, by the way. In the Eric Medlin race, the K was by Castrol Syntec. Dylan swings that thing wide off in the dust again. Here comes Dawson. No! Dylan shuts the door on him. But Michael may have him in turn 11. And here he comes on the inside. Michael Dawson for the lead. And he's got it. Michael Dawson takes the lead from Dylan Pote. Maybe Dylan ain't done yet. Dawson led that time by. As they go up into turn number one, Dawson and, and Poteet side by side, and Michael Dawson will take the lead. And Dylan falls back in behind. He says, okay, I'm now going to watch, try to see if I can watch you make a mistake here, Michael. <laughs> Three laps to go here at the Eric Midland 350K. Michael Dawson beginning to pull away just a little bit. Dust, see the dust level rising from all those guys. Kicking out the dust down the front stretch. Yeah, and he gets up in the dust. Dylan closes right back at him. Let's see what happens in the turn 11 this time. By Dylan may assume the position. He does. Dylan back inside. He's going to pull the same move Michael Dawson did on him. Whoa! Just some great racing here at Sonoma. Not the usual caution fest we've had here lately, but Dawson led the again that time. No, Dylan led the time that time by. Excuse me, and he'll take the lead away from Michael Dawson again. But Dawson ain't giving up though. Him and Dylan are side by side through the S's. And then a turn down the turn. Now see who makes what mistake now. But all this is letting Keith Batson maybe back in the race, maybe. Dylan will. Let's see what he does through the S's. That's where the that's where the race may be decided. Is the S's. Who makes a mistake and who doesn't? And in this case, both Dylan and Michael go off in the in the dust. This time by, it'll be the white flag. It'll be one lap remaining here in Sonoma. Who will it be in the Eric Medlin 350K presented by Castrol Syntec? It may be down to a three car battle for the win. Dylan Poteen has the white flag one lap remaining in the race. Looking for a second one of the season. He won the Daytona 500. Can he pull one off his first? This will be his first ever on a road course to be pulls it off. Dylan down through turn number three A in the four now. He's got a little bit of cushion possibly on Michael Dawson, although Dawson can pull up on Dylan's bumper if Dylan goes off in the S's. And he may get him in turn 11. Who knows?
This is where the, it, the SS, SS mistake may happen right there. Dylan off in the SS, but Michael doesn't get it. Get the SS. Michael closes back in on Dylan as they go to turn number 10 in the turn 11. Dawson's got a shot. Here he comes to the inside. Here he comes in the turn 11 in the hairpin. Dawson and Poteen side by side. Dawson takes the lead. And Michael Dawson, does he hold off Dylan at the line? Here they come the stripe. It is Dylan Poteen winning it. What a finish. Wow. Closest road course finish ever in the Cash Bowl GTX Cup Series. Dylan Bodie, I thought, had lost that race. Came right back in turn 11 and got him. Or turn 12, I should say, and got him. <laughs> I want to see that again. That was what a finish that was. Margin of victory, 0 0.026 seconds. It all started right there in turn 11, right here. It all started right there in turn 11. Michael Dawson, I thought, had the pass for the win right there. He makes the pass on Dylan, had him cleared by about a car length coming out of turn 11. Dylan comes back, holds the line on the inside in turn 12. Suck at this. At the light, he had him right about that much at the str Ooh! That was how much Dylan beat out Michael Dawson by right there, a half a car length of the stripe. But what a big victory that was for Dylan Poteet, his first ever on a road course. Michael Dawson comes home second, then Keith Batson, Rachel Williams, Colin or Chris Martin in fifth, Colin Cropley sixth. 7th is Trent Dunham, 8th Lisa Shears, Ninth Dalton Day, 10th is Justin Acosta, Connor Breen comes on 11th, and Russ Batson, Charles Jackson, and Batson finishes 14th, <coughs> Aaron Williams 15th, my throat's getting sore now from all this yelling, <sighs> excuse me, Alex Tanker 16th, and, Just and Jasmine Acosta, Justin Acosta, and Alexander Dawson, the top 20, then comes down to Josh Osborne in 28th position. Usually one of the best road course racers out of this bunch in the series, but not today he wasn't. <coughs> and then all the way down to Zohar Munhan, the dead last in this race in 36th position. <coughs> but a big victory for Dylan Poteen. Car 66 to drop, Arnett Pontiac. Takes the win here at Sonoma, California. Boy, to say he hung on the win at Sears Point would be, as if any, would be a gross understatement. That's for sure. Jeremy Duby has the lead by 67 over Ray Caster. Just Justin Acosta and Connor Breton tied for. Actually, Ray Caster, Justin Acosta, and T Connor Breton are in a three-way tie for second. With Sasha Dawson in fifth, first through fifth, 78 points. With the next race being at Daytona, that's going to be hard. Then comes Zed Weinstein in sixth in the points right now. Dylan Poteet up to seventh in the points. Taylor Acosta, eighth. Alexandra Jones, ninth. And Colin Cropley back in the top ten. He's in a tenth spot in the points right now. With a win, two top fives, and six top tens. And then comes... All the way down to Trent Dunham in 20th position. In the points. And then all the way down to Kathy Kintara in 36th in the points right now. 
Next race on the tour will be the Midsummer Classic, the Pepsi 400 at Daytona.